Feeded six. Officials just making their way onto our show court here. Just got a brief glimpse of uh, how the draw is going to work. And here comes Tai Su Ying, is such a popular player everywhere she goes. And Shoku Wong, who has beaten her just the once. So there shouldn't there shouldn't be uh, any kind of an inferiority complex in the Thai player's head, but even so, tough ask to beat this woman when she's playing somewhere close to her best, which she certainly was yesterday. Bon Poe, you can choose between there you red see the head and black. Four one in Tai Su Yin's favour. It is black. Yes, Left side. The only defeat Tai Su Ying has suffered to the uh, opponent today was in a World Tour Finals group match two years ago. 29 years of age, of course she was number one for a long time. If you add up all the weeks, 214 of them. Now ranked uh, at number four. And I think it's just the spontaneous way that she plays that endears her to so many badminton fans. Always aggressive and wonderful disguise. We saw a lot of those kind of shots yesterday. Not really tested so far in this event. But maybe she will be today against the woman on the other side of the net from Thailand. 25-year-old Paul Pawi Chochiwong. Rack 12 in the world. She has been up at number eight. That was about a year ago. Has got a title this year. She won the Spain Masters. Oh, sorry, Spain Open, I beg your pardon. She won the Spain Masters in 2020. That was her first title, and that's how she's reached this stage. With all due respect to Barova and Kirsty Gilmore, this is going to be a different level today. <laughs> all five previous meetings have been won in straight games. Last uh, meeting with two who was very recently, actually, a round of 16 World Championship in Ready to Copenhagen play. in August, which Tai Su Young, or Tai Su Ying rather, won pretty comfortably. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Bon Poe Shoshu Wong, Thailand. And on my left, Tai Tzu Ying, Chinese Taipei. Bon Poe Shoshu Wong to serve. Love all, play. So here we go then. Shoku Wong will start this women's singles quarter-final. Service over. One. It's interesting that Taito Yung stood right over the net there. Such was the quality of the previous shot. I think any lift from the tie was just going to go basically straight up vertically. It would have been an easy kill either way. 
Survey over. One, all. 15 World Tour titles she's got, size of the year, including Taipei Open this year. But this could set up for her really nicely. We have had a, a few withdrawals actually. Ratchlock Hinton on being one from the women's draw. And seeded one initially anyway. Got to think it's a great chance to add number 16. Three, Lovely death touch again. One. Service over. Here, three. So used to seeing those shots work, aren't we? Wong's the kind of player that if Tyson Yuk's not right at her game, she's definitely vulnerable. I mentioned she's beaten her before. Terrible miscue from the time. Is over. Four, all. Judgment over five from the top four. seed, and actually, Chachi Wong's made a, a pretty solid start here. It's just a thing of rare beauty, that Service isn't it? Over. Five, all. Must have played thousands and thousands of those kind of shots in her professional career, but you never get tired of seeing it. Service over. Hit Six. the line again. Five. One by eight, pitch. I know a few players that might have challenged that, but Tyzy knew it was plumb on the line. Seven, five. Beautiful. Just about to say, every match on court one so Six, far today, all three of them seven. have technically been upsets. If you look at the seedings and the world rankings, but should Chukka one take down Taizu Ying, that would be the biggest shock of them all today. But she started very positively. Service over eight, six.
six. See exactly what the thought process was, but didn't really get anywhere close to executing that. That's a lovely shot. That's one out of the close to the in playbook. Well, this match not really following the script so far. Took him on with some daylight now on the scoreboard, and Taizu Ying hasn't got close to reaching the heights of yesterday's performance. Service over. Seven. Ten. Reached Service again over. by Chokiwon, who goes to the chair with a four-point lead in this opening game. Seconds, twenty seconds. Thank you, coach. Eleven seven play. Be the cleanest winner she's hit so far. Right out in the middle of the racket, nice angle. Sometimes when you watch Tai Zhu Ying, she flicks a switch and you just get treated to an exhibition of shot making. How much ground? How much ground did? Chukyong had to cover at that point. She was going to run ragged all over the court. Tai Zhu Ying has come out of the one minute break mid game and she's come out firing three points in a row and also the way she's won them. Service over. Well, head. I think Chocoron was expecting that to go down the line. 11, 
well. Because in some ways that was the hardest shot. Dispatched it well, and gets herself on four. level terms. Five of the last six points to the number one seed. It's nicely flighted as 13, well. 13, 12. Good leave in the end. She's going to challenge it, but I'm not sure she's going to enjoy it from this. It's a very late decision by uh, Tai Zhu Ying. Literally had a racket there and split second before she would have made contact, pulled it away. And I think it was the right move. Seemed to me to be just wide. But Hawkeye will confirm, and in fact, it was comfortably wide of that sideline. Challenge unsuccessful. 14. Well, play. Service over. Thirteen, fourteen. Entertaining point that looks as though took a one was. Uh, all over Tai Zhu Ying, and then that shot gave the woman from Chinese Taipei a chance, and she usually is deadly. And she tries that little change up, not that time. Oh, that's about as pinpoint as you can get. Service over 15, 13. And it was a narrow side, too. A side that the tie was covering, but. Never any chance of getting to that. Oh, that's a fantastic shot. There's a bit of fighting spirit there from Pompa Chokwong. Only had one thought in her mind, clean winner. Still in there fighting in this opening game, despite the mini comeback from Tai Zhu Ying after the mid-game break. Four points behind, remember, at that stage. Well, that might have been going wide, you know. Doesn't matter because that was long. Service over 16, 14. No play at the moment on the other two courts. They'll resume at six, so these two women have the arena all to themselves. Still throwing in the odd Service uncharacteristic over. and unforced error, 15, Topsy. 16. Maybe just uh, giving a little bit of encouragement to her opponent. That is wonderful placement. Sumptuous angle, 
Take chuck you on. Oh. She's got herself back on terms now. And that's the thing, if... Tai Ying just takes her foot off the gas, even briefly, every chance, she's going to get punished for it. See the frustration from the tie when she missed that. And that was a little heavy handed. 16. Oh, she snatched at that. Very unlike her. 17, 18. Oh, late decision. And now, right up in the air again. Oh. That's Tai Su Ying. Invited Chocker Warm back into this opening game. Surprising error in the previous point, then that. Anyone's now. She's gone favourite, Chocker Warm. In front, momentum, and Taisu may be thinking about what might have been here. But she's been bested in the last few points, the top seed. And I mentioned that Chokawong has beaten her previously, albeit with a losing head-to-head -head record, but the fact that she has taken her down once should give her a little bit of a, a fillet. And now two game points. Tyson Yu has gone off the boil. 18. At the most important time. Oh. One save. Turn is over. It's a wonderful angle, and she's got there. Tai Zhu Ying, I think, got a little complacent towards the end of the game. She's been punished. The number one seed loses the opener. Cho Chi Wong, 21-19.
เลยไม่ได้เร็วขาดเลยไม่ได้หมิวต้องเร็วและต่อเนื่อง20 seconds ตามต่อเนื่อง20 seconds ตามต่อเนื่องตัดตัดจังหวะเวลาเขาหลอกไม่ได้ไปเลยนะตามต่อเนื่องนะสองเกมลอว์ไฟส์สองไทยยิงเล่นแคชชัพเฮียบนเลนหนลอว์Got the taste for it now. Service over. P one. Well, as Tai Zhu Ying is discovering, he can't take liberties with a player ranked 12 in the world, and of course she has been inside the world's top 10 relatively recently. That's a, another missed opportunity for Three, the top seed. One. Of one of the big shocks here in this clash of clans Arctic Open. Got to say, a judgment's not been particularly good today, Tai Zhu Ying. Look at that's at least five she's let go that have landed in. That was an error as well. Got away with it. She needed some inspiration from somewhere. Three, that might just provide four. it. It's a trademark Tai Zhu Yin classic. Three, four.
was. She gave uh, Chochu on the run around. She's Four. back on terms. Oh. Just get the feeling. Tai Zhu Ying has got up a gear here. A little bit of a shock to the system losing that opening game. Made a poor start in game two. But now she's got a little bit of impetus, a bit of momentum. It'd be a major surprise if this match doesn't go to a deciding game. Early days, I know, in game two, but just get the sense. She's starting to flex her muscles a little bit. Well oh. played by Chuchu Wong, though. Service over. Five, four. I can hear how hard she's breathing, doing a lot of running the tie. They're both up. Been out there for nearly half an hour. Lovely shot from uh, Cho Chu Wong, but even better reply from Tai Zhu Ying. Judgment comes from Joshua. Six, Six all. And that was a bad one too. That was way. your own luck, as they say. Just meant it was a slightly steeper lift for Tai Zhu Ying and a pretty straightforward chance to win the point. Nice. 
was a weak one, wasn't it? Six. From the top seed. Going to challenge this. It was Nine, called out three, by the line judge. Called out. And very quickly, Tai Zhu Ying informed the umpire she wanted the technology to check. So that's what we're going to do. First challenge she's used. Called out. Excellent call. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining, ten, six, play. <laughs> Point should have been over. Couldn't make a mind up whether to leave it or play it. Didn't either. Very but really, Chuckerwalk should have won that point about 10, ten. strokes earlier. Might that just prove a pivotal moment? Should have been 11 6 at the interval. But they're still out there. Well, now this time it's the ties Paul turn Bowie, to challenge. Was called in. in. Let's see what Hawkeye has to say. Uh, it was long by distance, so we're going to have Correction the interval. Out. And Choku Wong has a four-point lead here. ตอนแรกเราอยากเร็วถูกต้องมั้ยนะเร็วแต่นี้นะเอาออกจังหวะเอาออกจังหวะคุมจังหวะออกตัวคุมจังหวะออกตัวนี่คือเร็วแล้ว
it's wide. Service over 12, 8. Judge for that time by the time. Nine, twelve. wide here she comes the ties lead cut to a point well the ties Ian now looks the stronger how much self-doubt is she putting into Chukka Wong's mind ah! well, that was wide one point at a time for the tie I think needs to be the mantra 13, here 11. Going to be wide. Service over 14. Just has 12. to keep that self belief here. Chukka Wong must have known that Tai Zhu Ying was going to come at her at some point hard. Maybe just tried to be a little bit too delicate with that. 13, 14. a wild one and she's on terms having led or having trailed rather by four at the mid-game break Tai Zhu Ying looking much the stronger now just wondering if Chucky Wong's best chance has gone we'll see Still making a few errors, Tai Su Ying. 14. But she's not going to get over the line. Chucky Wong on, on 
those kind of points. And the winners from her racket have rather dried up. Just looks a, a little weary as well. A lot of running in the 42 minutes they've been out there. It's going to drift wide as well. Oh. 16. 14. Back. Maybe she can get there with errors. That's three in a row from Tai Zhu Ying. And now there's a three point gap on that scoreboard. Well, she's got a mistake out of Tai Su Ying. She tries to somehow get over the line. Still can't remember the last winner that Chokyu Wong produced. It doesn't matter as long as you get to 21 in a couple of games. Superb. There is over eight. Quite brilliant. Four. And under the pressure, scoreboard pressure, even better shot. Good return. 
That's gone wide. And here are two match points, improbably, for the time. It's the top seed about to exit stage left here in Vanta. One to come. Shades of what happened in the first game. Well, if you remember, she did take the second game point opportunity, having passed up the first. Still match point. Play. It was called Nine, in. Three, Obviously, Canada. she's going to challenge called it. In. But uh, if this is not reversed, Shoku Wong's in the semis. <laughs> Got to wait and get confirmation from Hawkeye, but Shoku Wong looks very confident. <laughs> well, it's out. It's out. out. Would you believe it? I don't think she can. Maybe she can't either. All. What drama here. So now it's 20 all. She was basically about five millimeters from replacing the semis. Now she's got to put that out of her head. Start again in terms of. Magic. Fighting in this game. He was about to shake Tai Zhu Ying's hand. Now, the top seed can see a path to a deciding game here. Good thing she had a challenge left. Play. So after an interminable delay, we are eventually going to carry on with this game. Oh. Missed it. So a third Can chance for the tie. 21, 20. Pressure on all these shots, and Tai Zhu Ying hanging on by her fingernails here. Third match point for Chukka Wong. Like it was the most casual thing in the world. Match point down. 21 all. She is a master of disguise. So we carry on here in this <laughs> unbelievably tense second game. Forced air account is mounting up, 22, and you just wonder 21. how many more times she could get herself out of jail. Three match points saved so far. Now she's got to deal with number four.
That will work. No okay. Hawkeye to save Tai Zhu Ying this time. 23-21. It is a magnificent win for the world number 12 against the former world number one who was seeded one here. But Tai Zhu Ying goes out. And we're going to see Jockey Wong again in tomorrow's semi-final. Showed real heart. And warmly appreciated by a, a healthy crowd here inside the arena. Well worth watching that final point again. Just made too many errors today, really. Tai Su Ying. I think when she reflects on the defeat, that's what she'll come up with. So, final score here, 21-19, 23-21, 52 minutes on court. Don't go anywhere because up next we have a men's doubles quarter final. It features the number three seeds, Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi Yi. That will be in the company of Bobby Griffin in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back here to quarterfinals day here at the Arctic Open 2023 after the excitement of Cho Chuong overcoming the number one seed Tai Su Ying in that women's singles. We turn our attention now to